Hey, come on out here, Jake. Waiting for the gold, huh? A hundred thousand dollars. That's a very fine figure. It'd make a nice present for me, old mother. We're not the James brothers. They were just show-offs. If they'd been a couple of Irish You know, Mike, it wouldn't be that hard. It wouldn't be hard at all. Just be a matter of distracting them for a while by uh, starting a ruckus over by the saloon and then... Uh... Come on, get them out of sight. Yeah, we got stuck crossing the Pahoody. Where the hell have you been? Look, the river's up nearly three feet, Mr. Bowden. We're lucky we got here at all. Start on loading. All right. <laughs> showed up yet? I ain't seen no sheriff, but if he's around, he'll be out there fighting the fight. All right. Come on, get the gold! What the hell are you waiting for? Inside! Hold it! Now, 
waiting for us out there. This way. Sheriff, we just ain't gonna feel safe in this here town till those loonies are back inside. You got elected sheriff to protect this town. Well, it needs protecting bad. Ain't that your job, Sheriff? Calm it down, boys. Sure, it's my job, Lou. But first, I need a group of volunteers for a posse. Now, who volunteer? What? Uh, well, uh, you, got uh, How about you got a couple of deputies to take along with you. There's no reason why we should go. How about the hundred dollar head reward on those fellas? Dead or alive? Alive. And you get an extra 50. You bring them on back by tonight, mister. Who are they? Did you recognize them? They're bounty hunters. Santiago, let's split it right away. We'll wait for Udo. A hundred thousand bucks, right? And half of it's going to him. That's what it costs us to use his plan. Yeah, but we all could have been killed. What do you figure? I figured 25 would be enough. It'd be a pleasure to put a bullet through you. I don't like that kind of talk. Well done, Santiago. I was sure it all go as planned. Yeah, it was easy as falling off a log. Lose anyone? Zeb, one of the guards shot him in the back. Split it. That's theirs. And this one's by way of appreciation, okay? Well, let's go, boys. I want to be across the border by tomorrow. Goodbye, amigo. When you hear more go, you'll know where to find us. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>
Sure beat squirrel shooting. Come on, let's go. Why? Because there's nothing more I need from you. No! All right, let's go. As the deer seeks the cool waters of the river, so thirsts my soul for you. I will rebuild your temple, O Lord. Oh, for God's sake, cut it out, Woody. You can rebuild it later. Ah, leave him be, can't you? He ain't talking to you. What do you see in the fire, dummy? It's like there's something in those flames. An answer to something. Something I can't remember anymore. But you don't remember anything. Not even what made him throw you in jail, right, boy? I can tell you where his pa is. I figured it all out when I heard his name. So tell him. Silver. <laughs> no, I ain't going to. Why not? Because Hondo's a loner. If he's still with us, there's a reason for it. And I know what it is. What reason? Gold. That was stolen when we escaped. You think that the dummy here lead you to the gold, right, Hondo? Because the man who recognized you was one of the bunch that stole it. <clears throat> I don't give a damn about the gold. I want to know who I am and where I come from. Ozaka. Your pa at least lives in Ozaka. We're partners, right? Partners? In what? I don't want us to get caught, you hear now? There are five of them. There ain't no sheriff's posse. They're bounty hunters. Come on out, boys! We want your alive! I don't want to get put back in that Shut out of hell hole. You listen to me and we'll make it out of here. Hey, damn it, you hear me? Come out of there with your hands in the air. Come on, we ain't gonna shoot you. You mean that? Then put your guns away. They ain't armed. Now! Black one. He's got legs like a mustard. <laughs> over the hill. <laughs>
still four of them left. Give me the knife. Woody, stay here and don't make a move. Okay, boy. My gold, please don't take it, mister. It's all mine. Gold mine? Ain't that what you said? The bank, a hundred thousand. Yeah, and where's it gone to? Damn it, where'd they go to? Seems like we're all heading for the same place. <laughs> yeah. But make sure you don't get in my way.
left today is some rabbit stew, beans, and whiskey. Sounds good. You got room for a fourth? It didn't pay your way. Sit down. Dollar ante, no limit. Give me two. Two? No, three. I'll take two. Your five and another fifteen. I'll raise that twenty. Three threes. <clears throat> Full house. You know, the way you handle a deck reminds me of a fella from Kansas City, by any chance? Check, Lou. Two. I'll see that. It'll cost you three more to stay in. Two cards. I'll take one. All right, gentlemen. Check. Check. Me too. Five dollars. You're five, and I'll raise that twenty dollars. You raise twenty, and I raise a hundred. Flush. You've been cheating. What was that? You've been cheating. So have you.
You know, there's only one game you can play where everybody's cheating. It's high card. A high card will be all right. For everything on the table? Is that all right with you? Sure. I got a queen. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good match. I got a buck that says you little give way to him. Even he's scared of old Caldwell. <laughs> Stop it, you fool! How much longer are we gonna put up with him? One of these days, he ain't gonna stand for that. Yeah, though it sure is nice to watch a coyote getting tamed. But all hell's gonna break loose soon. John Caldwell! Next time he tries to make fools of us in town, I ain't gonna take it, Dad. He's pushed me enough. I swear I'll shoot the bastard. If it was that easy, you'd have shot him before. No one can fight him fair and win. And a lot have tried. 
He's about as fast as a man can be. Even if he is past 50. And look at you. You ain't ever been gunned with a gun, have you? Put an end to John Caldwell. The man's got to be careful. Shoot him in the back, boy. Make sure you don't miss. You can come and eat. That is, if your hatred for poor Mr. Caldwell hasn't affected your appetites. Hey, Sheila, ain't you gonna give me a kiss? You know, you got a hell of a lot to offer. Too bad we're brother and sister. Yeah, I could sure show you what it's all about. <laughs> Set up some more. I'm going to try it again. Now, this time when you draw, keep it low. You're accurate enough now, so work on getting a bit faster, huh? Quit, Slim. No matter how much I practice, there's always two shots left when the dollar hits the ground. You just keep at it. There aren't too many around that can do it. I told you Chuck Mould even had trouble to begin with. Yeah, right. And he was only about five. The preacher called him a prodigy. A real chip off the old block. That's what your pa used to say. <laughs> Six out of six, Dad. Huh? What's that, son? Nothing, Dad. Nothing important. Can't you forget him? Uh, listen, Alan. No, you listen to me. It's time you stop living in the past. The situation with the Udos is getting worse all the time. And what are you doing about it? I'll tell you. You're sitting around brooding all day about a dead man. A dead man, understand? Chuck Mool is dead. Stop that kind of talk. You do everything you can to make yourself believe he's still alive. He's no use, Dad. He's not here to give you a hand any longer. He's gone. Dead. But I am alive. Me, your son. <laughs> oh, Alan, I'm sorry. Keep away from me. Don't touch me. feel strange not to recall anything, huh? It seems like I was born in that asylum. How come you wound up there? <laughs> if you're mad, you get locked up instead of being hanged. <laughs> and nobody was wrong about you. Drop dead. <laughs>
little one behind the strong box. Yeah, that's my one in the middle. my next attraction. I'm proud to be able to offer to you the chance in a lifetime, the chance to pit your strength against the strongest man in the world, none other than Big John. All right, folks, show me your muscles. Anyone that manages to move Big John here one complete step will be presented with the magnificent sum of $50, providing, of course, that he first pays $2 for the privilege of trying. That's it, folks. Just two dollars will get you fifty. Step hey, right up and match your strength get, against the strongest man in the world. Right. Let's give it a try. All right. Step right up. There's got to be somebody here who's man enough to match his. Thank you very much, sir. May I take this opportunity to wish you the best of luck? Big John will find it very hard, I'm sure. Gather around, folks. We've got our first contender. All right. Now, are both of you ready? Okay. And go. son is the one I own myself, and I never was one for giving animals a name. Come on, brother. 
The Lord will give you strength. Never <laughs> Got some ammunition. I hate to be without necessities. From what people have been telling me, there ain't a soul in town knows about you. Still, something tells me this is the right place. We know each other from someplace. That's not what you call an original line, Frank. But maybe I like you, and that's all that matters. Hmm? But you look like you've seen an old friend. Are you real sure you've never seen or met me before? Oh, sure. Besides, I'd tell you if I had. Didn't you say you were buying? <laughs> and I, I don't wait. A you buy. <laughs> Don't do it. You know, you're looking for trouble. There ain't no strangers gonna push us around, mister. Sorry, I was just kidding. My friend Jack ain't too clever. It's a bad joke. He ain't never been too clever. Hey, what was that all about? Nothing. I ain't got time to talk to you. It's kind of strange. Yeah. Very strange. Hey, Silver. Go see where that fellow went. You mean to tell me all these goings on aren't ringing any bells in that head of yours? Your name's Chuck Moore. And folks around here are scared to death of you. Why was that man afraid of me? I'm telling you, it's Chuck Moore. Then either you're crazy or you're hitting the bottle. Chuck Moore's been dead now for three years, as everybody knows. All I know is that a man ain't dead when he's standing there staring at you. Cold sober. I'm telling you that it was Chuck Moore. Pretty hard to believe you. If you'd been in the saloon, you wouldn't think that. Mr. Udo, that sure weren't no ghost. It can't be Chuck Moore, but Dad, are you sure? When the sheriff told us the boy was dead, I saw no reason to question it. He on his own? Now, the other two seemed more like a couple of rattlers. How come he didn't recognize you, Ben? I guess I changed. This old thing didn't add up. From what Ben said, he sure ain't acting like a Caldwell. We gotta find out what he's up to. Why didn't you go ask him? 
That's more or less what I got in mind. came to ask you if you could say a little prayer for us, Father. What do you want from me? Who are you? I don't know. Who are your three friends? And how come you fellas came here? I don't know. I don't know. What's your name? <laughs> What's your name? I'm Woody. And who's Chuck Mool? I don't know. He doesn't even know himself. What are you saying, you idiot? You know more than that. When he was in the crazy house. They called him dummy. In the crazy house? What was a fellow like Chuck Moole doing in a crazy house? He couldn't remember anything about himself. Well, how about that for luck? It sounds like... like we could help Chuck Moole to find his memory. Yeah, you're right. That'd be a real neighborly thing to do. Be kind of a shock for old man Caldwell. Let's hope he ain't forgotten a simple thing like how to pull a trigger. You sure have a convincing style. Be a little hard to forget you. And now why don't you rest up for when I get back? Hmm? All right? I just turned the whole town upside down. Where would he be? It ain't like him to disappear. I sure never figured I'd wind up as a goddamn babysitter. Shit. been mourning you for three years. What the hell's got into you, Chuck? It ain't possible you don't know me. 
your own brother, Tom. Then you are my father. You don't recognize us, do you? What's happened to you, son? All I remember is the last three years. We'll help you, son. There'll be plenty of time. You got no idea how happy this will make Sheila. Sheila. Howdy. Friends of yours? Something more. This is my father and my brother Tom. Sure glad to know you. I take it you're both friends of Chuck's. Well, it'd be a pleasure to have you both over to, to help us celebrate tonight. It'd be mighty nice. Real kind of you. See you later, son. Tom, that's wonderful. Are you sure? I'm real sure, Sheila. What's more, he's lost his memory. Now, you listen to me. We got him convinced that we're his family, Sheila. And he's got to go right on thinking so. You don't play along, and I swear to God, I'll kill you. Clear? There's something else I ought to tell you. He's been sleeping with one of the saloon girls. So don't go thinking he's still in love with you, because he ain't. He doesn't even know who you are. It's the best thing that could have happened. Now finish getting ready. If you're not downstairs in ten minutes, I'll come and get you. Remember, Sheila. He's your brother now. My old man would die if I showed up again. Something doesn't add up, Silver. But damned if I can put a finger on it. It won't be long before we find that out. It's too perfect. Your story is incredible, Why? It's difficult to believe you're even here. I ought to tell you, Chuck. We were convinced that you were ambushed and shot down by the Caldwells. The Caldwells? You gotta remember, you can't expect Chuck to know all about Caldwell. Yeah, it's hard for me to, to get used to that. You see, Chuck, the Caldwells just about own the whole territory. They got over 10,000 head of cattle. One by one, they forced the squatters and small farmers to quit. And now we're the only ones holding out. I don't know how much longer we'll be able to, though. After you disappeared, things got worse. They plan to scare us out. There's no limit to what they'll try. Sheriff found our brother Jimmy over by the cemetery. He'd been shot a couple of times in the back. It was John Caldwell's doing. Cold-blooded killer. And someday, I'll see that he pays for it. Jimmy was born after me. He was only 21. He used to follow you all over the place. You sure did mean a lot to him, Chuck. When you disappeared, he was convinced Caldwell had gotten rid of you. So he set out for the cemetery. Caldwell's there every night. And that's all we know. Next morning, Jimmy was dead. Another victim of Caldwell's. He died trying to avenge me. And I can't even remember what he looked like. Yeah, and the sheriff told us there was no case unless we could find a witness. You could fight. Caldwell's faster than any one of us. He sure ain't gonna be beaten in a showdown. Of course, you could put a bullet in his back. But we ain't murderers, Chuck. 
I hope you aren't trying to talk Chuck into a showdown with Caldwell. Sheila, my dear, I figured you'd be real happy to see your brother. I'm so glad you're back, Chuck. It's been so long. Shall we eat? After all, this is a celebration. Ain't you gonna eat? I just ain't hungry. Yeah, really does my heart good to have John Chuck and the others again. left real early this morning to round up strays. I figured sure they should have been back by now. Your memory will come back one day, son. Don't you worry. Folks, let's drink to the return of Chuck Moore. Well, 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 well. Woody! said a thing about your girlfriends, Chuck. In three years, you'd have had one or two, huh? When you were here, I knew many girls who had eyes for you. Of course, you wouldn't recall. Don't mind your sister, Chuck. She thinks love makes the world go round. I have a feeling some people would be surprised how much that word means to me. no time to be fighting. You just stay there, Chuck boy. You and me got to decide what to do about the Caldwells. It ain't gonna be easy. But now you're back again, maybe we can work out some kind of plan together. Yeah, I'll be right with you. There has to be a way to stop them. And we're gonna find it, son. Can I talk to you for a minute, Dad? Sure. Excuse me. Didn't you miss me? Sheila. We were just going to run off for our 20 animals when they came out of the dark. Then I don't know what happened. I just turned around and ran for it. Don't you ever learn, you idiot. I figured you'd know enough to make sure you weren't being watched in the first place. We did, Tom. Carl Wells weren't there when we started cutting them out.
Now you listen good, John. Because I ain't gonna repeat it to you. Oh, my darling Chuck. Sheila, what do you mean? I don't understand. is confused. I remember something. But very vaguely. I'll do all I can to help you. You... You used to love me, Chuck. It ain't too polite to butt in on you like this, but I got it, Chuck. The old man sent me to look for you. You try any more of that love talk, and I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. There was about 20 of them. Let my old man call where. I only got away because I played dead. They killed Jake and Sam and then ran off half the herd. We ain't ever gonna be able to stop them, son. What are you gonna do? I'll kill him. He told me he goes to the cemetery every night. I'll wait for him there, and I'll kill him. You want me to come along with you? No. He doesn't know I'm back, and that's all the help I'm gonna need. Take care, Chuck. He's quick and clever. You only got the one shot. Chuck moved to the rescue. I sure hope old man Caldwell lives long enough to see who shot him. No brains, I guess. Hey, 
In case you didn't know, there are guards upstairs all night. Now make up your mind. Are you here to steal or to help Chuck Moore? Whose side you on? They say you're his friend, and if you can, can save his life, I'm on your side. And the gold? Trust me. And there'll be gold for you after. Caldwell, you better dig your grave. gun. If I was that easy to surprise, I'd have been dead a long time back. Now turn around, slowly. Caldwell. Is it true? Yes. I come here just about every night to visit your grave. It's good to have you home again, Chuck. I'm real glad. Damn you, those souls. Make him pay for these three years of torture. Now, this is between the Yudos and me. And it's something I've got to do myself. Son, you don't remember the hellish things they're capable of. We've got to work together to give them what they deserve. Please. I mixed up enough as it is. Don't make it any worse for me. Better think it over, Chuck. Eight can keep a man from thinking straight. Better sleep on it. You too, Dad.
Why does he hate me? He doesn't hate you. You know, Chuck, you were our first child. I guess your mother and I favored you over him. Is that the only reason? Try and understand, Chuck. He was with you when you had that hunting accident. He thought you were dead when he left you in that old cabin we had at the far end of the ranch. He came back here and told us what happened. But by the time we got there, the cabin had burned to the ground. And you had disappeared. There was no trace of you. I'm here. But nothing is familiar. Not a thing. I don't even remember you, even though I'm sure you're my father. There's only one thing I remember, and that's the Yudos. Tom Yudo! What do you want? Your life! Why don't you come and get it?
Thomas, idiot. I'm coming after you! Chuck, don't shoot! We're coming out! We ain't armed. You ain't about to shoot an unarmed man. Chuck, watch out! No, 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 don't kill me, boy, no, it was Tom's fault, it was his doing, I just did what he said, believe me, Chuck, I had to, you don't know Tom, he would have... Don't kill him, Chuck! He is my father, please. Alan! You have about as many lives as a cat, eh, Chuck Moore? You, throw down that rifle. Right, throw it down! You're crazy. What do you want? To see you dead. I thought I'd taken care of you three years ago. This time there'll be no mistakes. Go inside. It's about time you learn the truth about yourself, Chuck. Dad's not your real father, and we're not brothers. You aren't even a cold whale. But you are my brother. No. You are not my father's son. And you're not a Caldwell. It can't be, Alan. Don't you understand? Your father's not a Caldwell. Now you listen. I ain't gonna let you take away what's due to me. Yeah, because it's my birthright you're gonna inherit. And me? Who am I? What's my name? Who am I? You're just a bastard, Chuck. No. Right after the war, while Dad was still away, the ranch was attacked by a gang of outlaws. They raped Ma, and you're the result. You see, you're just the son of an outlaw. Dad has never accepted the fact, but I know it's true. The name Caldwell, and the cattle, and the ranch are mine, and mine alone. Do you understand now? You're a bastard, Chuck. No. No! Alan? Yes.
Is it true what he said? That you're not my real father? Where are you going? 